Day 23, baby. So, uh, shoulders and triceps we've got today. I just started with a rear delta here after warming up. I did a set of 10 repetitions, rested for 10 seconds, and squeezed out another five. Then on my second set that I just completed here, I did 10 repetitions to failure. And then I stripped the weight and did an extra 10. And now on this third and final set for rear delt, I'm gonna pick up that same weight uh, that, I, that I stripped down to on that second set and perform 20 repetitions straight. So that's exactly the same theme as we uh, did yesterday when we were uh, doing back and biceps. And this is exactly what we're gonna do for every body part this week. So the second exercise that we're doing here is gonna be for our lateral and the front head of our delts. So what we're gonna be doing is raising up to the side. At shoulder level, we'll be dragging those dumbbells around to the front and then slowly lowering it down at the front. Then coming back up at the front and then slowly dragging it out to the side and lowering it down at the side before picking it back up and repeating. You won't be able to go too heavy on this movement. You need to keep it straight, uh, straight keep your body upright and make sure that your delts, uh, your hands, your elbows are uh, always in line with your delts the whole time. Uh, so we'll start off by hitting 10 repetitions, resting for 10 seconds and knocking out another five. Immediately I can feel that in my front and uh, side delts immediately got a pump, so that's good. Again, as a reminder, what you may feel, you'll pick the weight up and think, man, this is like a shit, but it isn't. As soon as the lactic acid starts kicking in, you are screwed because we are on such little glycogen. Um, carbohydrates are really down, so the energy's gonna be down a little bit. This is where you rely upon your mental energy. So remember, yesterday's carbohydrates have been reduced to point for seven per pound of lean body mass. And now, <coughs> today, as we deplete ourselves to get ready for the end of this transformation and our after pictures, we deplete down to 0.35 grams of carbohydrates per pound of body weight. Uh, done of uh, around the world. And now I'm gonna finish this off by predominantly focusing on the front portion of the delts now. Even though we did side and we did front, I wanna prioritize the front just a little bit more now, just get a little extra pump out of them. So that's the first set of uh, incline dumbbell front raises. Uh, we did that supported on an incline, as you can see here, self-explanatory. Uh, the reason being is that I find that being supported, number one, we're able to isolate the front delts a little easier. It's very easy to swing a lot when you're hitting front delts. On this, it's pretty much impossible unless you come back a little bit further. As you can see, we're using baby weights here. And on this supported uh, bench, plus, you know, low on glycogen, uh, you're not gonna go as heavy. Not nearly as, half as heavy as you would if you were doing it standing up anyway. All right, last set. Best set, 20 reps. With the same weight that we dropped down to on a second set. All right, that's it. Three exercises for delts. Hit the front, side, rear. That's it, we're done. Triceps now. Okay, we've gone full circle. We started week one. Feels like yesterday on this exercise. Uh, this machine, ham hammer machine shrugs. So now we've come back to it, substantially lighter than what I was doing in the first week. Go a little bit slower, make sure that your back is completely aligned and straight. And uh, if you need to have a slight bend in your knees, as a bit of suspension, then by all means do it, you know. So we did 10, dropped the weight, rested for 10 seconds, and then did another five. Now I'm gonna do 10, drop the weight, strip the weight, and do an extra 10. So 
last set of this last exercise. Remember, make it the best. We're gonna do uh, 20 straight with the same weight that you stripped down to on that second set. And then that's it, that's uh, traps and delts done, and then we're gonna move on to triceps and finish those bad boys off. All right, so our first tricep exercise here. Again, I'm sticking to the machine, sticking to the cables, uh, so we can get that mind-muscle connection. That's the main thing that we're working towards now. For well, first set, to the 10, rest in for 10 seconds, drop down another five. Remember, maintain muscle, push the glycogen, what we've got left into the muscles and keep it there, keep pushing it there. Don't have the bar too close to you, so you're pushing down. Have it out in front of you, so your pivot is stuck to your side and the leverage comes right out in front of you. The second set here, did uh, 10 reps, rested for 10 seconds, stripped the weight and pushed out another 10. Now I'm leaving that pin exactly where it is and going to do 20 reps straight for the third and final set. Now we're going to move on to another uh, variation on the cables here to hit uh, the medial uh, inner head of the tricep. That's our first set of overhead extensions done. Really feel the rear head coming into that one now. Make sure your elbows are pinned by your side. Don't have them too wide. Keep them narrow to isolate. <laughs> so that's our second set, 10 and 10. Man, you should feel a real pump in your triceps now. Uh, should be feeling really tight. All the blood is kind of localized now, going from the delts into the triceps. Right, third and final set. So I keep it on that weight and do 20 now. Those two exercises done now. Now I'm going to uh, move on to a rope movement, which is going to be like a uh, kickback. I much prefer to do the kickbacks on here as opposed to a dumbbell because I feel I get full contraction at the extension of this exercise and I get a very good stretch at the bottom because there's still tension placed at the bottom of the movement. It's the first set of the tricep cable uh, kickbacks. You can use a rope or, you know, I've got a strap here like this. I'm going to keep it very intense going back and forth because while I'm targeting one arm, the other one's resting. So we've had plenty of rest now. So we'll go straight into the second set, which will be 10. Rest for 10 seconds, put the weight alone, and push out another 10. Okay, now I'm gonna go straight back onto this arm and perform 20 reps straight away, and then 20 reps on the other arm, no strips. The same weight. We just strip down two in a second. Whew. Okay. That's it, that's our last delt and tricep workout for this week. We finished strong. I finished strong anyway. So now we're gonna have a, a post-workout uh, shake, which is a kind of a combination of a pre-cardio shake as well. So remember we have our, um, our recovery amino acids, such as uh, the glutamine, and we had the uh, uh, citrulline, and uh, obviously the uh, before and the whey protein now. And now we'll also have our pre-cardio as well because we want to make sure that we're utilizing the fat purely for this cardio that's uh, to come. So that's it for today. Tomorrow is, uh, or the next, next body part. I'll talk to you about that again. I want my shake. Okay, so the exercises that you're doing now in the evening directly before your cardio is gonna be the seated calves as we do absolutely every single week and we're gonna be doing uh, uh, sit-ups with a kettlebell here or a dumbbell, whatever's uh, available to you for resistance. And do as many as I can until I cannot do one more rep and then go on to the seated carbs without any rest. So that's what you're gonna be doing in the evening uh, directly before you hit your second cardio.